I mean, uh, well, one thing I also wanted to bring up with you real quickly was before we move on. I mean, I know that Jake Paul said who's next. You know who I think should be next? Tommy. Tommy Fury, yeah. I wasn't impressed with Tommy Fury. Me neither. Wasn't it weird that... Um, orig- so, on the... <laughs> I don't know what fuck... Who the fuck was working with Showtime on the actual animation? Mm. But at the start of it, it uh, opened up that it said it was going to be eight rounds... Then on another screen it changed and it said ten rounds before they were about to fight, and then I was reading at a uh, reading on um, a news site that overnight it had been changed from eight rounds to four rounds. What, so it what? became yeah, it was a four round fight. Tommy Fury versus um, Anthony Taylor. That was a four round fight. It was fucked. I mean, I knew that was a four round fight, but I didn't know it was originally going to be eight rounds and ten rounds. And it was originally, I believe, it was so supposed to be eight. Yeah. But on the screen, on one screen it said eight, on another screen it said ten. And then when they went to fight, it said four again. I was like, what the fuck is going on? So it was very confusing. Um, there wasn't really any explanation for why it got downgraded to four. But I thought it was a bit funny how, um, and they made a good point in the post-fight press conference that, why was Jake versus Tyron eight rounds if, like... Why would they? Why would they make Tommy Fury versus Anthony Taylor um, four rounds instead? Mm. It's weird. It's very strange. Uh, you don't really. I don't really understand that. But now Tommy Fury is now seven and zero. Oh. Um, to be honest, his opponents yeah, though they're not. They've been handpicked. They've been very easy, and they're trying to build up a star. Um, and same with Anthony Taylor. I mean, five foot six and a half against a six foot guy. Uh, you can understand, yeah. especially when that guy has fought at 135 pounds and that guy is easily walking around at 200. He's probably He just yeah. probably cuts and diets down to 185. Um, the thing is... Sorry, 180. Yeah. Well, it's because uh, Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley, they fought at Cruiserweight and uh, it's not too far off the Tommy Fury's fighting weight, so... Yeah. I'm just saying it could definitely happen, and then because Tommy Fury has been having a go at Jake Paul for ages, and all. but Jake Paul kind of started that though. Yeah, Jake started that, and then Tommy was like, "Well, fucking fight me then." Um, yeah, and then I'm pretty sure they were going back and forth on social media, and then there was that video where it was Tyson Fury, Tommy Fury, and Tyson's son, youngest son. I can't remember what his name was. And they're all like making some weird video about calling out Jake Paul. And then he like responded to him like, okay. And then it was like um that one punch man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, gone, yeah. Okay. All, all, all that. So I don't know. And then it never fell through. Would I like it to fall through? Why not? But then again, um Tommy's performance wasn't exactly five star that uh just just recently, so he was loading a lot on his shots. Yeah, he was just and, and Taylor had some some okay moments actually. It was a few right hands that he that he, he caught him with, but you could tell it was just like those big looping shots were only going to work a little bit at the start, and then as they progressed, Tommy just controlled it from there. Mm. Um, wasn't super impressed. Like I thought he was going to be a little bit more powerful, um, at least better footwork and things like that, but. To be fair, I mean, you can't compare him to Tyson Fury, who's been in the space for a really long time. Mm. And he's only 22, to be fair. Um, also, he's his half-brother. He's not, you know, a brother-brother. He's a half-brother. 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 Okay. 